What's up, ST Squad? Welcome back to the page. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, you heard it here first. I got to give you guys a nickname because you guys have been rocking with me for so long. So I've been thinking we're going to call it ST Squad, as in Squint TV Squad, or STS, as in, you know, again, Squint TV Squad. If you guys have a better name, please let me know. But right now, we're going to talk about this brand that I have on my body right now. We're talking about Represent. Yo. All the way from UK, I'm bringing you guys live. I'm gonna give you the breakdown. Well, I'm gonna run down the breakdown. That sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna break down the clothing and also some shoes. Cause surprise and surprise, I got me a pair of their shoes. Which means now I'm gonna talk about a shirt, a hoodie, and sneakers. So if you guys are interested in represent, this video is for you. I said in the intro, guys, STS, ST Squad, Wagwan. Everything gravy, everything good, everything iry, everything nice. All right, so yo, check this out. Now, Represent is a UK luxury streetwear brand. Yes, I said it, luxury streetwear. The only reason why I say streetwear is because their designs is still kind of streetwear-ish. And I put a lot of company, well, a lot of brands under this label, fear of God, off-white, Kith, Rude, and Represent, they fall into streetwear. I know that Off-White is kind of luxury and also is Rude, but they still give me that streetwear vibes, which I just made that category up. Luxury streetwear, because you're still not on the level of like Louis Vuitton and those other brands. Sorry, not saying those brands are better than you, but their direction is just different compared to what Rude, Represent, and other brands are going in right now. Now, like I said in my pickup video, I started following Rude, I wanna say about two, three years ago, and I never picked up a product until now. I seen the Feel the Heat shirt drop, and I had to cop. And the hoodie, the hoodie is fire. But before we get to the hoodie, let's talk about the tee. Now, the t-shirt, they run, I wanna say, a little bit true to size. In the description, they told us straight up that the shirt is gonna fit a little bit boxed. So I felt safe getting a size small. I normally get a size medium when it comes to shirts, but the small fit, lovely. Here's a look. As you see, it's gonna give off that boxy feel. The shirt is pretty dope, and it has some nice hints, some nice features. When you look on the bottom left side, you're gonna see that there's a metal clip on the shirt that says represent. That right there, fire, nice detail. Description of the shirt, it did say that it was a medium weight. It does not feel like that. However, it still has a little body to it, a little, a little muscle, I'll say. It feels good, it's very soft. This is a good shirt. The price range, however, might scare you guys. It's 120. Now, 120 for a t-shirt is not bad when we're talking about luxury streetwear. These brands are gonna give you better quality and that's why it costs so much. The print on this tee is pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. The print feels nice, it looks great. The colors are there and everything blends well together. This is gonna be a vintage shirt, so it's gonna give you that little box feel. And it's also gonna have a little bit of tear and wear in the shirt, so it's gonna look pretty old, but it's still pretty nice. Shout out to Represent for actually making the shirt feel vintage and look vintage with a great price. But now let's get into the hoodie. Guys, I'm actually working on getting like, I wanna say a rack, that way I could just hang stuff up and we could talk about it. But as for right now, we're gonna talk about this right here. As you see it, you're gonna think about Givenchy. You're like, did I say it right? Cause I know a lot of people in the comments, you're gonna say, oh, he spread it wrong. He pronounced it wrong. Blah, 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 correct me. Givenchy, Givenchy, whatever you wanna say. A lot of people said this shirt mimicked that, and I could see why you say that, especially when it's the Rottweiler shirt, but this one is pretty dope and is nice. So getting a closer look at the shirt, once again, it's gonna be a vintage feel and a vintage look, a washed out black and not really a midnight black. The graphic on this hoodie is why I got it. Taking a close look at it, you'll see you have the two Rottweiler and it says pure breed, represent. It looks like, I wanna say a heavy metal, like merch, hoodie and it's pretty cool. The only disappointment I have, and I'll be honest, is that it's not as heavy as I want it to be. When it comes to these hoodies, if I'm gonna pay $200 and up, I need a heavy hoodie. This is not heavy. This is more like a spring, early winter, 
fall type of hoodie, you know, you throw it on, you're still gonna feel the breeze. And that's why I say for $200, it may not be your cup of tea. The one thing I do wanna get into is actually this tag right here. So just like this shirt, it's gonna say represent and then England backwards, or should I say upside down. This is definitely, I wanna say an upside down England. This is pretty cool. And this is the same tag that you get in the shirt. Once again, I got a size small and you will see how it fit right now. Now in a size small, it's not too baggy, it's not too slim. I actually love the feel. Another call out I'll say about this hoodie is gonna be the pull tabs. Well, not the pull tab, but the cords. When it comes to these type of brands, I have to see something that I love to pick it up. The shirts, because I felt the material, I'm gonna buy more, especially if they come out with more cool designs like this one right here. The hoodies, however, I do have to say I might have to give a pass unless the design is gonna be crazy just like this one right here. I know Represent is known for their pants, their jeans. I need to try them on. I need to, because if I'm gonna talk about their shirt, their hoodies, and their shoes, the jeans have to come in too. Now for $200, I'm not saying go run and go buy it. I'm not saying I'm gonna buy another hoodie, and I'm also not saying this is my last hoodie. Now let's get into what you guys are really here for. You're here for this, this nice box right here. Inside the box, it's gonna be a pair of shoes. Now, a lot of people might not understand why I picked up these shoes, but honestly, it's not that bad of a shoe. But enough of me talking, let's get inside the box right now. I already ripped it open, keep it a buck. I kind of fake taped it so I could do like a fake unboxing, but I don't wanna lie to you guys or fake it. But here we go. It comes in a white box. Now, when I saw the white box, now, when I saw the white box, all I could think about is Mongella's, because Mongella is known for their white boxes. So I would have to give a shout out to Represent for also utilizing the white box. Now, giving you guys a very close look, you're gonna see Represent right in the middle, also in white. This, you can't even see it, can you? Let me get closer, boom. There you, whoop, 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 whoop. There, there you go, Represent right there in white. This sneaker is crazy and I really, really can't wait to show you. Matter of fact, enough talking. I'm gonna show you right now. All right, here we have it. These are called the Rude Raptors. Now, when I first seen image of this, the first colorways I actually saw was the all white and the white and I wanna say brown. That one is fire, but it sold out and I couldn't get it. But this one right here, actually getting these in hand, you're gonna see that it's not black and white, but it's actually like an asphalt and white. This is fire. Boom, there we have it. This is the real color that you're gonna see. You see that? Black toe box, vintage lacing. Oh, the shoe is so great, it's so amazing. But let's get deeper into details for you guys. When you look at this shoe, you're gonna see that it's gonna say rip along the side panels. Now, look very closely, it says R E. P, that stands for represent, rip. And then you're gonna see that little zigzag on the side. That does give it a little bit of taste. But I love how this shoe is constructed. I love everything about it. From the vintage feel to the great craftsmanship, it's pretty good. When you look at the outsole of the shoe, once again, Jordan 1. Moving to the midsole, like I said before, it's gonna be a cream because this is a vintage type shoe that's gonna give you a vintage type feel. My favorite part of the shoe, of course, is the upper because it's a total different design. It also reminds me of the Balenciaga arenas, the way that it's constructed, you know, that slant down, it looks like the arenas. I love the color of the shoe, not gonna lie. It's a different color than what you're used to. It's like they chopped out piece of it. When you check on the back, you're gonna have a black heel tab that blends in with the back of the shoe. Trust me, ah, you have to have these shoes in hand to see how great it is. The shoe come with three different laces like you saw in the B-roll, and my God, I don't know what lace I wanna put. Now, when I first saw images of this shoe, this lace didn't look as cream as it look right now. When you check out these laces, it's gonna be a, a little bit creamish, a little bit dirty as I will say, but this is the lace that everybody's using right now. 
in every Jordan 1. So seeing that Rude put it in their shoes, I'm pretty surprised, I'm pretty shocked. But then you also have the black laces. Now, how do you guys feel about the black laces? Me personally, I think it's okay. It takes away from the shoe. Me personally, my favorite lace is actually gonna be the asphalt lace right here. This lace is actually the same color as the outsole, and I think that's why I'm gonna put them in, uh, if my lights could work. Thank you guys, thank you. So as you see, it's gonna be this cream, this cream looking lace and the shoe, I think it matched perfectly. So the price of these shoes is kinda high. Once again, like I said before, this is a luxury streetwear brand. So the price of these were $300. Now, before you come at me and say, yo dogs, what are you doing? Why are you spending so much money? Listen up, $300 for a unique looking type of shoe. Now, don't get me wrong. You could spend $300 and get a pair of Jordan 1s that you missed out on, you could do that. But can you wear Jordan 1s with every single fit? Of course you can. Explain that in the design and hype video. So of course I can wear events with every single outfit. My, you my good. You should have saved your money. Eh, eh, eh. I will say you wear this with a more dressier fit. A fit that calls for this type of shoe and doesn't call for a Jordan 1. That's the same reason why I bought the Rude. Yes, it gives you that same sportswear feel. However, it's just a little, a little notch in your outfit if you know what I'm trying to say. Now, let's get into the sizing of this shoe. Now, I, why do I keep saying now? When it comes to the represent Raptors, you will have to go up a size. Now, I watch so many reviews. Everybody say go true to size. Some people say go up, go up a size, and some say go down a size. Me personally, because this was made in Italy or made overseas, I went up a size, which is crazy, right? Because I normally go down a size when it comes to luxurious brand. Now, when it comes to designer sneakers, I'll get a size down, but when it comes to these luxury streetwear brands, I gotta go a size up. So in the Root sneaker that I just bought, I got a size 10, and I got a size 10 in these, and they fit perfectly. Comfort is there, everything about this shoe screams fire, and you have to put represent on my name <laughs> that was that was corny but it worked it worked so i really hope that this video helped out anybody who's trying to get into represent well into the brand and trust me the shoes worth it the shirt worth it the hoodies uh, the jeans i don't know but i am gonna get my hands on those so once again the shoe represent raptors I'll get a size up from your normal Nike size. So I'm a Nike nine and a half and I got a size 10 and these fit perfectly. I normally wear a size medium and I have a size small because it's a boxy fit, fits perfectly. Also, I got a small in the hoodie and it fits perfectly. So that's it guys, thank you for tuning in. Please press that like button, share the video and go check out Represent. The link is down below in my bio and guys, every Friday, which is tomorrow, me and my friends have a podcast known as The Unhyped. Please go check us out and listen to all the topics we're talking about. We talk about sneakers, clothing, news, anything you want to hear, we talk about, even music. So yo guys, love, manas, and always, always respect. Yeah, I'm out.